Hey lovelies, welcome back to Self Care with Lee. Happy New Year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to Self Care with Lee. It's been a long time. Happy New Year. It's 2024. I can't believe it. I'm just like, we're here. We made it. I don't know about you guys, but it took me a long time to get back on track. Like it's day seven. Today is Sunday the 7th. And it took me so long to get used to my camera again. So much like time to figure out what I was going to talk about. And I don't want to talk long. So I just wanted to just tell you Happy New Year and welcome back to Self Care with Lee. Okay, so some of the things that I did was, of course, create a vision board. So my vision board is on my iPad. Love it here. Love that for me. And I also have been writing things down. Like, this year is about trusting myself financially. And so this, I'm taking the time to really budget and get into that financial pillar of self-care. So one of the things that me and my mom have always discussed was like the budgeting booklets. We saw them a lot on like TikTok and Google and I bought a couple and I was like, you know what? This is something that I can do. So I created my very own budget book. And I made a cute building my bag 52 week challenge. And so basically, this is where I'll put like money. And right now I don't have the money in there. But I figured that's something like cool that we can do together. And so, you know, I'm the queen of journaling. And I trust that that's what we need to do. So I created a financial self care journal. And so it just keeps you accountable for all the things that you need to do it has like a calendar and where you should be at and then we calculate how much you should have by the end of the 52 week challenge and so it just keeps you accountable and i love this for me because that is one of the things that i need to get on this year this is about being financially you know free and freeing myself from debt and you know a lot of my like self-improvement and my professional development was getting the salary that I thought I deserved and you know living this life where scarcity is not a thing I am able to make that money I'm able to grow financially I'm able to purchase that home I'm able to buy that car outright like those are the things that I'm speaking into existence so that was one of the things that I feel like the anxiety and the fear was creeping in because it's almost like when you struggle for so long, you forget that you are in control of what you can do, how much you put in a day and how much you can make. So once I started freeing myself from that scarcity, I said, no worries, let's get into it. The next thing I wanted to talk about was getting myself physically right, okay? I need to work myself out. I'm one of those people that I'm an emotional eater. So if I'm sad, I'm eating. If I'm anxious, I'm eating. If I'm if I'm happy, I'm eating. Like, I am always eating. I'm always wanting to go out to brunch. I'm always going out to eat with friends. I'm always eating out. I'm always, always eating, eating, eating. And it was one of the things that I've noticed that that was my love language. Like if I'm going out on a date, I want to go out to eat at a nice restaurant. I want to get cute. I want to do all the things. But then I realized that, girl, you're gaining weight. <laughs> and so I am taking it upon myself to lose weight. Like my goal weight is 160. And so I have to lose about 25 pounds maybe 30 and so i am working out every morning 
going to the gym like it's going to be hard so i started off with like 30 minute workouts and then going in with an hour workout and then i want to see where i'm at but then i also wanted to try other things so like dieting uh going to maybe a weight loss clinic or something like that so those are the things that i'm thinking about and i have that on my my goals but we're getting this body right because i want to let you know that this summer i will not be a meatloaf on that beach okay i live at the beach like i cannot be out here looking like a meatloaf okay so yeah getting my body right physically so these are the things these are the goals that are on my list of things to do and so getting myself financially right physically right mentally right and spiritually like i have grown my relationship so much with God like I've grown so much closer to him and I'm hearing him I'm listening to him and I think it almost helps me out in a way where I'm able to just cut off the distractions it's not as easy now I'm not saying that this is an easy thing but I'm like cutting out the distractions and just like wanting to hear a word from him and just like kind of just pondering in him and a lot of the things that I was using as distractions like getting into relationships or you know I don't know we're just gonna be 100% blunt like drinking going out having sex and using these things as distractions from me and his personal relationship like I was chasing relationships out of everything and everybody where I should have been chasing our relationship and so I am 100% in it and I want to basically grow closer to God and get myself right spiritually and religiously so yeah i have been wanting to be 100 percent transparent so uh, judge your mama okay but these are the things that i want to get done um hobbies so one of the things that i noticed about myself is like i love to travel and one of the things that i had saw myself doing was spending a lot of money with people who were not really my friends or they just wanted me to be like an there i don't know how to explain it but i will spend so much money people pleasing and this year i'm not doing that i'm not i've i've broke free from it last year but this year i'm standing on business with it like i'm no longer spending money and going places where i'm not i don't feel i should be there if that makes sense or i don't feel uh as if it was worth my time my energy and my finances so that's one thing that i really want to get into this year and make a long story short i am sick of putting everything and everybody before myself and my own care and when i do that i'm so depleted my energy is so depleted and i isolate myself and it's not really a pretty scene because then you know the, the thoughts start worrying and you're overthinking and that is not good so one of the things that i have planned on this year is just trusting myself trusting my gut with the things and the places and the finances that i'm allocating like i just want to make sure that i am looking out for myself and protecting me because i noticed very quickly that i am i put myself in a lot of situations that are terrible okay and so with growth i believe that self-care is all about protecting yourself and all 12 pillars so i want to like gain healthy habits and get rid of those habitual habits where I was people pleasing, spending unnecessary money, hanging out with people that were not, you know, feeding it to me. Like I'm doing all this pouring, 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 watering, and then it's nothing in it for me. So I really want to make sure that my relationships are 100%, you know, based off of just goodness and nurturing and just real authentic friendship and even my significant other like i'm praying on him like i want god to just equip that man for me because i'm a lot and i'm noticing things that could be have or could have been considered toxic so those are the things that i definitely want to get myself together with so honestly this is the year of me so that's why i want to call it happy you year because it's us you know it's i want you to feel like this is the year that you have to get yourself together in all aspects all around and so you can be a better person and a better version of yourself so i want to leave you with these things but i want to see how also together like how i'm going to put all this money into 
these things because I have my little okay tip jar okay so I'm going it's about I took some money out the other day but I just kind of want to probably put it in the back of the thing goes in here like so I just want to I was trying to get it because my nails are so long okay I'm back because I could not do it while I was on the phone but this is how it looks and I love that and then so cute so petite so now I will probably fill out some of the things in the journal and it asked me if I worked out 30 minute workout keeping me accountable okay and i love that so it's time for me to get right quarter one it's time for us to get right let me know if you want a building my bag a little whip budgeter and a journal let me know in the comments and you, it won't look like this i just took something off of here and yeah let's build quarter one together like Let's get into it, shall we? Like, we have to build community because it's important. And, you know, just as long as you write everything down, I think you'll be fine. But just wanted to let you know where I am at this year. I know I was all over the place, but this is the best way I can put it. Like, it's just time to get rights so love you guys um my hair is wet still obviously so <laughs> love you guys and i'll see you next vlog bye